and welcome to Honor Yoga Triple Cast Podcast. I'm Denise Latisic, Development Director for Honor Yoga. And here today we have Honor Yoga Studio owners Uma and Suresh from Plano, Texas. We are so excited uh, to talk to you today. They're opening their doors in December. And, you know, we just really want to dive into learning more about you both and the studio. And uh, let's get started and learn a little bit more about the background of, of you both. Tell us. Yeah. So I'm Uma and till recently I was a classroom teacher, high school and middle school teacher. And way before that in a different life, I was a sample designer and a buyer for an export house in India. And I also had my own business um, that I was running and managing for fine jewelry and ready to wear custom uh, garments. This is all before I met Suresh, before I got married, before I had kids, which seems like a long time back, of course. But on a yoga studio in Plano, Texas is our first joint venture, first business together. Um, the studio itself is part of an initiative that we both started to honor the memory of our older son uh, that unfortunately we lost to a hit and run accident a couple of years back. Um, he was 26 years old and he was a big believer of mental and physical fitness. And with this studio, we really hope to continue his legacy in his memory and for me personally, uh, this, this whole business venture is every waking minute I spend, you know, uh, towards the studio and its opening is like a beautiful way of honoring my son in a positive, uh, with a positive energy. I feel so involved in this um, that I think of him while working towards my honor yoga studio opening and i feel like this is the best way that i can honor him and his memory that's a beautiful story uma uh, what a beautiful legacy and way to remember your son uh, and his love and passion for yoga and to honor him and um you know really taking every day uh, in loving his memory. So thank you for sharing that. And that that is just a beautiful story and love how it's the first business venture that you're both undertaking with your son's legacy. And and so what why honor yoga? What what made you choose the honor yoga brand? I am going to let Suresh talk a little bit about himself and then I'm going to jump into why honor yoga. Go ahead. Okay, just a very brief uh, introduction. Um, I have been a professor in the business school for uh, the last 30 years uh, at NYU, CNU, Rutgers, and currently at UT Dallas. I, uh, my focus is on research on intangibles to make businesses successful. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what would be a greater intangible than uh, ensuring the community's uh, mental and physical uh, health in a positive way? So we are hoping that we are providing a huge intangible uh, to our community so that the community ends up being very good and productive. So I, I love that. So you have more of the business uh, side of ownership. And then Uma, you you recently uh, did your teacher training. How was that experience for you with Honor Yoga? I, uh, I'm currently going through the training. And honestly, I'll tell you that I'm totally surprised and amazed at the breadth of materials mm -hmm. that is being covered in this training. Uh, and I walked into the training because I wanted to equip myself with the background of the, the training that each teacher in the studio is going to bring with them. I wanted to know what they go through to understand you know, their experiences. I know that when I finish this training, whether I end up teaching yoga or not, I don't know about that, but I really know that 
I will end up getting more connected to the true self, to my own self, my roots, my traditions, you know, my values. Uh, and I really hope that that self-awareness that I will gain uh, has its own ripple effect in all aspects of my life. And it, it brings in some more positivity to our business venture. Oh, that's beautiful. So what, what part of the teacher training so far has been your favorite? I think, um, you know, the, the way that honor yoga teacher training, uh, focuses a lot on the, uh, on the, uh, history of yoga mm -hmm. on the, the, you know, and they are so emphatic about us knowing the, the roots, the tradition, the Sanskrit words. I took Sanskrit till uh, high school, but this is like a whole new, what should I say, refresher course for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, I, when I hear those terms, you know, it brings back so much which has, which I've not thought about in so many years. Those words now have a different uh, meaning because, you know, the place that we are in in life today, it, it has a different meaning. And my connection to that brings about a lot of self-awareness. It does. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, it's funny you, you bring that up because I, I feel as in this past year in particular, that we are looking at our health uh, more holistically. Um, it's not just about working out and in and, and your body, but it's more of a spiritual and emotional journey. And what I also love about our brand is how authentic it is to yoga and the roots and really, um, you know, sticking to those core values and mission uh, with that authenticity and having it be accessible. Um, so was it was it hard making them the jump into studio ownership, especially during these times? Um, I think, again, I'll go back to the fact that we have a very, um, what should I say, redesigned purpose in our lives. We, we have what what is a new normal for us? And the way we look at things is different. So given that and our purpose in honoring our son's memory, uh, this, this just kind of fit in so well because we were looking at various franchises mm -hmm. and the way we came upon Honor Yoga was so serendipitous that, you know, I cannot, it, it all makes me feel that it was meant to be this way. It, and, and, you know, I have to mention this because I say this to everyone, the way uh, it all came together and it seems like a play of words, but our studio is on a yoga plano and the address is Legacy Drive. Oh. So I feel like how, oh. could, how, you know, where in the world do you oh. think this could happen? But it is such a beautiful thing. And when I first realized this and I said, this is what it was supposed to be. This is where it's supposed to be. And it all came together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, so if you could speak to your younger self, that's just starting out, what would, what advice would you give her? What advice I would, I, I, first thing I would have had to have met Suresh at that time. <laughs> because this is totally Suresh's mantra and his, his whole mantra is to the kids, to his students, uh, to the lot of startups that he advises is, you know, to give our best and a hundred percent with honesty to whatever we are passionate about and not to control the outcome of whatever we are working towards because his whole philosophy is success will follow commitment and excellence. So if you're committed and you give your excellence to it, you will find success in one form or the other. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you have phrases that you like to live by? Oh, touching on that. I always just say that because I totally, <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm inspired, you know, by his whole outlook. I must say that, yeah. How many hours do we have? <laughs> well, I love how optimistic and positive and, and the inspiration and, you know, it's very empower, empowering and powerful and, and a beautiful 
beautiful legacy, um, definitely an inspiration for all of us. You know, what do you envision three years from now? What do I envision three years from now? I, I want both of us to enjoy every commitment, every memory we made uh, going through this on a yoga project. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to look back without any regrets. I want to uh, count all the relationships that we make along the way and, um, you know, look at it positively. And I truly want my son to be proud of me. Okay, well, he is most definitely going to be proud of you. And um, it's a it's a beautiful industry. And I love how many relationships you are going to make in your community where and 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 you're you're going to be bringing so much joy um, to many, many people, uh, which is very, very gratifying and sounds like it's very uh, fulfilling for you as well. Um, so what advice would you give to anyone that wants to start their own business? I would personally, this is this is what I believe and I have learned from Suresh and my kids. My, my kids have inspired me, both my boys have inspired me a lot to whoever I am today, I'm, I'm like an inspiration. I emulate them a lot. Uh, I think when you get into a business, you have to believe in the business. Mm -hmm. You have to believe that you will add value with the products and services that the business is offering. And if you believe in the business and you believe in the value added by the products and services, you will be honest to yourself when you try to sell it to others. When I 100% agree. Absolutely. When you believe in something and are passionate about anything, um, it's easy to share that with anyone. Um, so, so tell us, tell the viewers, you know, how can everyone find you online? Where are you located? How can listeners find you? Uh, we are on, like I said, we are on a yoga Plano at Legacy Drive in Plano, Texas. Uh, you can find us online at plano.onayoga.com. And we are also very, very present on all social medias like Facebook and Instagram. We have almost uh, one post every day about our classes, about our teachers, uh, our opening, our construction, and everything that is exciting us right now till our opening is, is going to be followed pretty well on our social media. And the opening date once more is? December 19, 2021. Yes. yes. So, thank you. Save the date, everyone. Uh, Plano, Texas, Uma and Suresh, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your journey with us so far. And congratulations. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun and such a wonderful legacy to your son. And thank you for sharing all of this today with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Denise. Thank you, thank you for giving us this opportunity.